So a special bonus section here of this video, I am sitting here with custom shop master artisan, Mr. Rick Hendrickson. Rick, what is going on here? I don't, I don't know. Good. Man, I walked up to your <laughs> desk here and I am seeing some of the most amazing things I've ever seen in a guitar build, man. What is going on here? Uh, they all think I'm nuts. <laughs> okay, okay, hold up. Okay, I, let's start from the beginning. Okay, so you do your own thing here. You yeah. get to do what what you want, what comes yep. to mind. Yep, they won't even let me take let them take orders. They just let me do so whatever it's a, I... So it's usually a one of one. Yeah, it absolutely is, yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Now, how long have you been doing this type of work? <laughs> yeah, I think just a little over five years as the artist. So how long you been with the company? Uh, 12 years. 12 years? Yeah. Wow. Okay, now was this type of woodwork and like, this is wood burning obviously behind me, right? right? I mean, you, you've you been doing that like for a while and then you just decided no, to start doing I... it? <laughs> you just picked this up yesterday? Like yeah, what happened? No, the first one I did uh, for when they opened the garage, they wanted something for Les Paul and I had okay. a $20 burner from yeah. Hobby Lobby and I did that but I said I think I want a better burner so they bought me a, a better burner and I wanted to try it out so I just kind of teach myself as I go. And, this is and incredible look at that I mean yeah that's incredible okay so I see some straps here I mean this yeah. is amazing. <laughs> all right. This is all hand tooled I mean this is. The head of engineering here uh, Austin his family does leather work in Texas mm -hmm. and I they come up and talk to me and I send them pictures and Wow. We discuss it and they make you know, it. Look those at for me. this. I mean, I've never even seen a strap <laughs> like that. Yeah, I told I told him I want them unmistakably for these guitars, not just something you can go in and. Okay, Rick, you got to show us a couple of things you're working on right okay. now, please, if you don't okay. mind. Because I, I, I am just stay in this one for a minute, <laughs> dying with curiosity here. <laughs> Let's see. Got that new wood burner. What? <laughs> you got to be kidding me, man. I, uh, I needed to practice. When it. you got that wood burner, you went to town. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at this. I, uh, I had some fun oh, with this. Oh wow. Okay. So I just like it because it you can you can feel the texture. It's not like yeah. you just painted it all no. there. And that's the real deal. The lacquer kind of sinks the to side. it. I know that side. That side. I just wow. I and that continues cool. up to the neck. Look at that on the back. Now, how, how is this happening? I painted this is painted. them. <laughs> wow, okay, because I thought, I couldn't tell if that was a wood material or not. No, I painted them and then we lacquered them. And then the knobs? So we did order those, we found those. I, I couldn't figure out what kind of knobs I wanted on there. Yeah. And uh, the guy that does the hardware down here uh, for aging, Ooh, that's whenever nice. it, we're getting, I'm getting close, I always ask him what he, what he thinks look good and he, he never lets me down. He found those knobs. How many hours do you think this took? Mm. <laughs> Days, um, weeks. Yeah, I probably have oh three weeks or a month in in this guitar, and then another that much at least again wow. in the amp. That is definitely a one-off. I mean, I don't think I've ever seen anything like that. That's amazing. Well, if that's the start, that's, oh my God, let's see what what the next one is. That is fantastic. <laughs> well, oh man, okay, okay. It's here it's, we go. It's different than the other one. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> I mean, look at the. Okay, so that I, even continues I, onto the fretboard to right. the headstock. Oh, okay. On the tuners, on the hardware. I, I try to paint the hardware and stuff so you can't see it. Rick, I just want that to. That is look amazing. Like, look at the back. It, it continues the side. Just. That's amazing. It, it, it is fun to. Just create. That's and, all hand done. Paint and, yeah, paint. I painted them all by hand. I was gonna say the whole forever. Look at each <laughs> one of those. Look at the back of the tuners. That's incredible. Yeah, it, it's uh, like I said. I'm pretty eclectic. I, I don't really. I don't want a year of work the and they all look the same. I, I want. Yeah, paint. You know, this is great. I don't even know how you did that. But it's <laughs> that's inside. <laughs> it's it, yeah, that's inside the, the knob. I painted them from the inside so that they wouldn't wear. I don't yeah, understand. Was, I don't was, even understand how you would do that because tricky. aren't these? Tricky. <laughs> I don't even get that. Like, did you have to paint this and then get the knob dipped in plastic or something? Or no, what? I mean it, it's plastic clear speed knobs. But if you flip it over, there's just a little ridge opening around there, and I took. You were able to get a, a brush in there, little or tiny something little. Brush in there. I, I mean, 
look at I on wanted the, the side numbers of the... and stuff to still show. Yeah. No, I mean you can still read the numbers. Yeah. It's great. This, I, this is incredible. I did. I I just wanted it to look like it was wrapped in Christmas paper. It, <laughs> it sure looks like. Yeah. So what do you call this one? You have a name for this I, one? I just call it psychedelic too. Oh man. Uh, <laughs> That's a work of art indeed. I know that it's been done, but I wanted to do my version of a Western theme guitar. Whoa! And, and, and carving's really my what I really like to do. And wow, I just like to see how detailed I can get carving and stuff. And of course, the I would burn the. Yeah, we. Wow. I, I just thought it was cool. Um, and and Sean found me the maple knobs where he these found are maple knobs. Ones. Yeah. And oh, we, it's light. Yeah, I know. Very light. <laughs> But I, I've, I've been wanting to carve binding on there for a long time, and I finally had oh, a reason to, nice, and I carved uh, rope on, uh, for the binding. Nice feeling, neck. And I love that Gibson G at the top with the horseshoe. <laughs> it's good luck. It says Old West on the back of the headstock. <laughs> Fantastic with the waffle back tuners. Well, I, I've never seen anything like that. that that's incredible. I'm, I just saved, I already saved that one because it's so big. I'm already a fan <laughs> of guitars that come in cases like this for, to begin with. Um, yeah, everybody said, oh, you're, you're, you're doing all the... Um, no way, all the, uh, man. No way. This is a Karina? Yeah. The back the back is really where the, where the artwork is. What? But <laughs> I what? just had a lot of fun. I, I wanted it. I did the two tile ones. When I got those, I was trying to figure out how could I, how could I do them the same Unreal. but different. And I decided Unreal. on look at the to make it look that. like broken tile. Look yeah. at that. It was a lot of fun, but that that was well, the gold work on the pretty labor intensive. <laughs> Man, I, I I did the I carved the pit guard too, and and if you take the pit guard off, it's the same thing under there. Oh no I way! I didn't even to, notice that. Yeah, the pit guard is here. Yeah, I didn't want a big old pit guard hiding everything, so I carved it and painted it too. Look at the sides; it's got all that work on the side that that continues all the way around the guitar. Yeah, it's uh, all the things from the Mayan I mean, calendar. I was gonna say, yeah. The serial number is the last day in the Mayan calendar. No way, <laughs> look at that. It does say 12-21-2012. Yeah. Incredible. Incredible. Man, that feels like that feels like tile. Yeah, I know it. That's right. I, I wanted this one to be broken tile and then That feels like you this is carved. The last one is this tile. Is all carved. That's this is not different. pieces that you just stapled on or put on here, glued uh, on here. I had this is the actual them. guitar that has been carved. And again, even the heart even the I asked Sean down there, what should I do for pickup covers yeah. and stuff? And he said, oh, leave them exposed, pay, paint them. And, I, and it turned out good. So this is a Karina Explorer. Yeah. I mean, that, I've never seen anything like that. <laughs> the fact that I'm feeling it right now, it really does feel like you put, it does feel like tile work. Yeah, that's what I, that's, I think it does too. That's it really, looks like really it what I wanted. It looks like there's grout in the middle of each one of those things. And it feels like it. Look at that. Okay. I, I mean, man, that, that, this is just, wow, what a treat. What a treat here. Um, the, the very last one over there is, it's. There's another one. It's, yeah, that, the V there. It's kind oh, of okay, the, okay. the sister to this one, because I got them together. And like I said, I want them to be able to stand on their own, but I kind of have been thinking of them as right, is this sad. gonna is this turning into a real estate show or like are you gonna show me the best house last is that, is that what's happening right know. now is that what's happening <laughs> i can't take it depends on your taste you love them or wow. you hate them <laughs> oh they're all slam dunks are you kidding me they're all fantastic right here's the foreshadowing you're, you're gonna see something okay. like that <laughs> okay so that comes included okay that is that is a nice touch there okay here we go and that's not the real case for it that that's just a case I used to. Okay, this is a I'm... Faulkner case. Yeah. Okay, got it, got it. Whoa. <laughs> wow, man. Like I said, I wanted it tile, but I wanted it to be the wow. You know, the Mediterranean look and colors. I didn't even call this out on the last guitar, but you're painting each one of those little pieces. More than once because it doesn't cover. So I, I had a paint the yellow on that wow. other and I had to paint four times so it took a long time it's wow <laughs> look at that 
Yeah. I mean, it, again, it just feels like, oh, the back is ridiculous. Okay. That's the front. If you didn't think that was cool enough, look at that, everyone. Assume, Amazing. Yeah. When I went down to lacquer after they put the base coats on it and, and I seen the neck, I was like, oh, that's just just what I had pictured. Okay, so where, where does these where did these ideas come from? Ah, uh, man, I, what is I got it? the story. The story comes with the guitar. It'll okay. be in the case. <laughs> oh, 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 so there is a story. You put it in sure. the case and we don't talk about that. Sure. <laughs> Let the buyer get that. <laughs> I mean, I know this had to take, this This took some time. It took a while. They they usually take a couple months a piece. <laughs> now, what is this? This is a, a is this a Karina V? Or yeah. This is a Karina V. Yeah. Wow. So you're already getting a premium product yeah. to begin with, uh, hands down. And that's fun. I, I hadn't worked with Karina yet or carved on or anything, but it, it, it was a lot of fun. Have you found the differences in carving just because of the different hardnesses oh, yeah. of wood and all oh, that? Oh, yeah. What's the easiest one to get away with, would oh, you say? Oh, um, mahogany probably carves the easiest, but... Okay. Maples, I don't know. It's just some solid and firm. I, it's fun to carve, too. Wow. Look at the back of the headstock where that meets. It's just perfectly done. <laughs> yeah, I put a stinger back there just for fun. Yeah. Just when, you know, we were downstairs in the custom shop, and of course, there's many great things down there. And then you, you come here and you really understand the, the magic that happens in this building. It's real special. That is just one of the best things I've seen. I've, I've never seen guitars like this before. Good. That's why. That's what I'm shooting for. <laughs> well, man, that's awesome. So, I mean, let me ask you something. You know, you make you make these guitars. Like, what do you think? You know, what, what are you hoping for the end user in their experience with one of your guitars? What are you hoping that they get to experience? What are you hoping that they, you know, what, what do you what do you think when that when that comes to mind? Is it hard to let go of them? No, no. It, I get asked that all the time, but it's yeah. not. I. I I get to work with them, you know, for a few months and hang on to all year while yeah. I'm working. And no, I'm always happy when somebody comes and loves it enough to <laughs> you, take you, it you, You're cool with someone playing these and, and, and doing their thing? Or Absolutely. Do you, or if they got it up on the walls as, as a... Whatever they want to do with it. That's great. Yeah, yeah whatever they want to do with it. That's great, man. <laughs> what, a, what, a, what a pleasure it is to see uh, all this, the, the, the things that you're doing here. And it's just magical, man. No, I appreciate it. I appreciate you taking the time to... To, to let us in on your world here and, and show us a few things, man. No, I appreciate Real special, it. man. Real special. <laughs> Thank you. Once again, everyone, Mr. Rick Henderson here, uh, our master uh, artisan here at the Gibson Custom Shop. Rick, thanks again, man. You bet.